When it comes to head injuries and concussions, um, we see this all the time, eye movement therapy. It's a very common and hot topic for things. Your eye movement therapy, there's a lot of general exercises that are pushed out there. Um, and now generality I find is great. I hope that maybe some of you will find some generalized videos, uh, maybe some gaze stability exercises, maybe some saccades, some star diagrams or some um, clock diagrams. These things are amazing. Um, the reason why they're amazing is they help most people in general. And when it comes to head injury, that's great because a lot of people are actually gonna get better on their own. So if you just give them a little bit of assistance, that goes a long way to make people better. However, it's the people who have kind of tried those generalized therapies, who have kind of tried um, X, Y, and Z to try to kind of push themselves to get better and they're still not getting better. Well, that's when it comes to the point that you potentially need to have a more thorough examination of kind of determining what exactly is going wrong with your head, what exactly is not functioning. Um, and when we say, or when I say uh, more thorough examination, now, typically speaking, the examinations that I perform usually last about an hour. And when we're looking at these things, we're able to determine um, are you able to perform smooth pursuit eye movements? Can you hold gaze stabilizing movements? Can you hold them um, when your eyes are open? Can you hold them in the darkness? Um, are you fine with head movements? Does head movements, uh, do your eyes uh, respond adequately for the head movement that you're performing? Are you able to balance yourself? Are you able to track things or are your eyes leaving the, the tracked object that you're looking at? So there's just so many little details of things that could be going wrong. And when you actually kind of monitor and evaluate all these tiny little details, it gives you a better idea of more specific therapeutic approaches that could be helpful for you. Um, sometimes your ability to just kind of generate an eye movement looking to the right compared to the left makes a huge difference in terms of dictating the amount that you're actually gonna be able to get better. So if you can adequately determine which way or which direction or what little type of maybe the background that you're using, um, those little things add up and they can really make the difference between you kind of staying where you're at or you kind of progressing to uh, further yourself in your recovery.